Priorities for a happy life is hard to establish, but once we do, I can guarantee you, your life just shoots up and happy. Roll it. Video on priorities, and if you haven't seen our whole series on priorities, click below because they're all there and you're gonna see them pop up as we get through this video. And of course, you should subscribe because subscribing will get you that daily motivation or those daily thoughts in your head that you haven't thought about for a while. And I think we all know most of this stuff and I just go into more detail just to get you moving in the right direction. So I'm making this video because somebody messaged me and they're like, well, I want a happier life. And I saw some of your videos, but I don't get how to get a happier life. In that process, I sat there and I asked him, well, what's not making your life happy? And here comes the first rule of having a happier life. Well, we gotta figure out what we're not happy about. Don't just say I'm not happy with anything. It doesn't work like that. Really look at everything in your life and put it on a scale and ask yourself, where is it at? What is, you know, each thing you do at? So this is anything. This could be your family, this could be your friends, this could be your career, could be your school, could be your business. Get my drift, all of these things are part of your life. This is why I'm doing videos in each thing, so that we can look at priorities and understand a holistic approach of what we really need to focus on. See, priorities are hard, and we when look, see, priorities are hard when we're not understanding the main uh, idea of why we're here. Our mission and purpose in life has to be understood. Our mission and purpose in life has to be understood. And some people take some time. Others never get it. And those are the ignorant bliss ones. You don't have to touch that. You wanna be in the one or the other. Now when we look at our mission and purpose in life and we ask ourselves, where do we understand ourselves to be in relation to where we wanna go, now we can analyze what we're doing on a daily basis, what we're doing with all these things in our lives, and really start making proper adjustments. This is to say that most of the time people call me and ask me, how do I get a happier life? How do I get a better life? It always comes back to that time. I want more time for me. This is the critical point that you need to really address. How much time do you have for yourself and how much time do you need? This could be anything from travel to your family, to your, you know, spending time with your parents or your, your nieces and nephews, your kids, your, your uncles and aunts, your friends. This could be spending time on you and you wanting to do you and play more golf in the summer and go do winter sports in the winter. This could be just anything to do with making you happy to be alive. So really looking at this and understanding our priorities, well, these are our main focus priorities and the people around them are the main priorities. Now, when we look at what we need to achieve in order to make those priorities the best they can be, well, we have to look at the income, the source of money that's coming in. This is to say that People come to me when they're younger and they just want to make a lot of money. But as they get older, they want to have enough money to enjoy their life. The question is, which one are you? Again, your mission and purpose in life solidifies this deal of what direction you want to go. And yes, it could change. So if you're in a position right now in your career where you're making a lot of money, but you want more time, you either have to level up to get somewhere where you can have more time, or you need to reduce that income and change the career so that you can have the lifestyle you want. If you're in a business and your business makes a lot of money but you don't have time for the things you really wanna spend time on, well, I think you get my point here. You gotta make adjustments. So whether you're in a career that takes up a lot of time or you're a business that takes up a lot of time, this is something that you really need to look at and ask yourself, am I doing it right? So take some time, your life priorities, your, your idea of what priorities for a happy life should be, need to align with the family side, the things you want and need in your life, that mission and purpose that you are looking to move towards and grow towards over the next five, 10, 15 years. And then of course, it's that career, the goals, 
that you've set within your business or your career, whether it's something that's small or something that's big, it needs to all fit together. And if it doesn't, well, I think you know what to do. And one more thing, don't forget, it takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. It takes time. This is Nico's Rentas, MentorsApproach.com. Like, subscribe, and of course, let me know what kind of things you're doing in 2018 to get your life priorities in check so you can have a happier life.